Happy New Year everyone and welcome back to Financial Madness. In this episode, I'm gonna give you three quick ways that you can make some extra little side hustle money that you can do in this new year and for years beyond. I was doing this at the very latter end of 2020 and in the space of one month, I made almost 500 pounds. Want to know what they are? I'm Kozan from Financial Madness, helping you be better with your money. Now, the first way to make some extra little cash is to take part in some user testing. Now, these are websites where you log on and then you partake in website or app user interface testing. It's really, really easy to do and almost everyone can do this. All you need is a laptop and a headset. And if you've got a smartphone and a tablet, even better because you'll get access to more and more tests. So how these websites work is that they have a number of companies that approach them whenever these companies do some development work on their website or app, or if they just want particular feedback on a certain area of their application and website as well. So they will create these tests, which they'll put on these user testing websites. And you, if you are signed up as a user tester, can log on and do these tests and earn some cash for every test that you do. So it's pretty much like a regular survey, but in this case, it'll be a bit more interactive because you have to work with a website or an application to complete the survey. My favorite website to do this is a website called usertesting.com. I believe they are the largest company in this market and they have a whole host of tests that you can do. And you're typically rewarded about $10 for every test that you complete. So for us UK folks, this works out to be seven pounds when you convert the dollars into sterling. And the website advertises that these tests can range from about 15 to 20 minutes of your time to complete. But from my experience, they do range quite a fair bit. I've had some tests which take no more than five minutes all the way up. I think the maximum that I've had is about 25 minutes. But I would say, yeah, on average, it does take about 15 to 20 minutes. To become a user tester, you just have to create an account with usertesting.com and then you will be asked to submit an example test. And this test will be reflective of the typical test that you'll be expected to see when you do in fact become a tester. Now this example test will ultimately decide whether the website itself will think you're good enough to be a user tester or not. So what they're looking for is clear sound. So make sure you, that you do have a headset when you are performing these tasks. Your clear communication, they really promote the idea of saying what you're thinking. So every time you navigate through a website, you really have to just speak out what you're doing and what you think of the website. Don't keep the thoughts in an internal dialogue. Please do express them out. So yeah, do the test. I think it takes about no more than 10 minutes um, and then wait for a few days and then you'll get an email saying whether or not you've been approved to be a user tester or not. Um, I was approved within about three or four days, I think. So once you have been approved, you'll then see some tests coming through and you do have to take some preliminary checks to see if you are eligible to take that test or not. And that is because not all of the tests that do come through, you will be eligible to do because for most of these companies, they are looking for a specific target audience to do this test. So if you think that you can cheat the system, they've actually done it in quite an intelligent way. There's, they give you a whole host of options. So there's no way of actually knowing what they're looking for. So you just really just have to answer honestly. And yeah, if you get given the test, uh, Fab. Otherwise, yeah, just move on and you'll just have to wait for another test to come through. Let's just jump onto my user testing account so we can see an actual example. Cool, so now we are on the dashboard and as you can see, I've got one available test that I can do. And yet yeah, there are some preliminary checks that I need to fill out. So as you can see, I've got one out of three questions that I need to do to check if I am eligible to do this test. So the first question is, what is the main tool that you are using in order to manage your tasks and projects for work? Um, so for me, I just use monday.com. Um, work in this case, I don't use it for my primary job, but I use it for my YouTube and I also use a website called Jira. Uh, so I'll go next. Which of the follow actions have you done on monday.com in the last three days? Um, I've uh, used, um, done none of these. I've uploaded a file. Let's see. And as you can see, yeah, the test didn't match. So obviously my options meant that I wasn't actually eligible to do that test. If I was to select another one of those options, although it's really hard to tell which option they were actually looking for. So I probably would have gone to stage three and then probably would have been accepted to do the test and I would have got paid $10 to do so. If we go to complete test, these are all the ones that I've done. Um, so yeah. Uh, sometimes you get feedback. I've only got feedback for one of my jobs. I got four stars out of five, uh, really useful feedback. But most of the time I don't actually get any rating whatsoever. But as you can see, I got paid 10 pounds. Uh, this is way back in October. Um, but yeah, I started taking it a bit more seriously in the month of December. So in the space of two weeks, I got 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60. I've got another one coming soon. Um, so what was that, $60? 
Um, so yeah, that roughly equates to about 49 pounds. So, so the money actually goes to a PayPal account and then from PayPal, you can actually then withdraw it to your bank account. I also mentioned earlier that it's quite beneficial if you also have a smartphone and even a tablet if you've got one. If you download the user testing app on those devices, there are some tests that are specifically designed so they won't actually appear on this website dashboard. It'll actually appear and say you need to check your mobile phone or, or your tablet and you can do the tests on there as well. That way you get access to more tests and the more money that you can make. So the second way that we can make some extra little cash is to sell some old stuff. Because as you know, as we go through life, we generally create some clutter, mainly in the form of clothes. And if we sell those clothes on, we can make a fair buck from that as well. My partner is quite the hoarder when it comes to clothes. He's quite emotionally attached to each piece of clothing. So we had a whole host of bags in our attic that were just there not being used. And I finally managed to encourage him to try and sell them online. So we started selling the clothes online. There is a really good app called Vintage, which allows sellers to put their items on there for free. You don't pay any commission, which is a really good thing. I think it's only the buyers that actually have to pay a small commission and that's how they make money. But from a seller's perspective, if I put my item of clothing on there and it doesn't sell, I don't lose any money. And yeah, and any money that I do make, I get 100% of the returns. I do have a referral link. So if you want to make a quick five pounds, check out the description box down below and sign up today to get that five pounds with Vinted. We also signed up to other sites like Spock and Gumtree, but I have to say, none of those apps came close to the response rate that we got from one particular app which was Facebook Marketplace because they have a huge user base and we found we got the most feedback and interest from Facebook Marketplace compared to any of the other applications. This is where we made the most of our money and in the last two weeks we probably sold about 12 to 15 items of clothing plus a bathroom scale and we made over 200 pounds. One point that I should also mention is that although you get a high amount of interest from Facebook Marketplace, you also get a whole bunch of no-showers. Now these are people that claim that they're interested and you agree a time and a place for them to collect the item but when it comes to it they don't actually show up and yeah you can message them all you like but they'll completely ghost you and you won't hear from them ever again so uh, just be wary of that by the way if you are enjoying this video so far please be sure to like comment and subscribe with notification bell on I release a video every single Monday talking about all things personal finance with the ultimate aim of helping you be better with your money and the third and final way that you can make some side money that I want to give you is something called match bet so this idea actually came from a close friend of mine a few months ago uh, who mentioned it in conversation. Contrary to its name, match betting isn't actually gambling because if done right, you're guaranteed to win regardless of what the outcome tends to be. And don't worry, this sounds a bit dodgy, but I can assure you it is perfectly legal and any winnings that you do make is completely tax free. Match betting takes advantage of the free bet money that you typically get from betting companies who try and entice you with free cash. That way you sign up and and then you'll be hooked onto gambling. But there is a way to make the system work for you and that means that you are guaranteed to always win and thus make some money from the bookmakers. Now the way this works is that you use the free money that you get from the bookmaker to make a bet for someone to win. Let's take an example with a football match. There is one happening later today, which is Everton versus Man City at eight o'clock. So you can place a bet for Everton to win via the bookmaker, but then equally you would make a similar bet on something called a betting exchange. One example of a betting exchange is a company called Betfair, which is the largest here in the UK. So I would go on to Betfair, create an account with them and bet that Everton will not win the game. So if Everton win, I get money from the bookmaker. And if Everton doesn't win, so if it's a draw or if they lose, I will get money from the betting exchange or from Betfair. Now I know what you're thinking, if I'm winning in one, but I'm losing against the other, then surely I'm only just breaking even or I'm losing some money to some transaction fees. But because the money that you are betting is completely free, it's the money that has been gifted to you from the betting company, you are actually gaining money regardless of the outcome. So I will show you a very brief example on how to do this but I'm not going to go into too much detail because there is a whole lot to match betting that you do need to learn about which itself requires its own special video to do which I'll probably do in the near future but for the sake of this I just want to keep this very concise I just want to show you how you can make some money from this scheme and I'll give you some links to some further material on how you can really understand how match betting works these websites are really really good at getting you started on the match betting road cool so now we are on a bookmaker called Coral now as you can see for a new customer offer you get 20 pounds in free bets when you bet five 
£20. So the first step that we have to do is bet the £5 to get access to this £20. So this is what is typically known as a trigger bet and this is where you do actually lose some money and when I say some money I'm talking about maybe a few pence to maybe a pound. But don't worry you do make up for it within the free bet so you're not going to lose money overall. So let's take a trigger bet here. So it's Everton versus West Ham which is happening on Friday so I'm actually recording this video on a Wednesday. Just go find that game. So Everton versus West Ham. So I would click on 1.95 and then it will give me the option to place a bet and I would put my stake as five pounds and get the return here. So then equally I would then go over to Betfair uh, so this is the exchange that I was talking about and I want to find the exact same games for Everton not to win So this is what is we typically call a lay is uh, Odds of two and then you do have to use something called a calculator to find out how this works now I know this may sound all very complicated, but Trust me, it does get simpler. Um, so I do encourage you to do your own research. For the backing stake, this is the money that I have to put into Coral. So I'll put that as five pounds. The odds for that one is 1.95. Here, the lay odds was two. So I'm just gonna do two. And if I believe the lay commission is 5% for Betfair, so we put 5% there. So here, it then calculates it for you. So here it says that I have to put a lay amount of five pounds. So now I'll go to Betfair and I'll put five pounds. Um, and then here it says my liability is five pounds. You kind of want to make sure all of these numbers add up. So here you can see liability is also five pounds. And yeah, my overall profit will be minus 25p. But that's fine. This is what's supposed to happen. So once this game is over, you will then get your free 20 pounds bet from Coral. Now I'll do a quick example here of another game. So there is a Manchester United versus Aston Villa. Um, so Aston Villa to win gives me a good chance of uh, making some money. So again, I'll go to Coral. Um, so I'll do for Aston Villa to win, so that's odds of 4.5. So we go back to the calculator, we do free bet now, so we move off from normal. So we put the backing state as 20 pounds. So this is the 20 pound that's for free now, that, um, and I'm gonna put it all for Aston Villa to win. So that is an odds of 4.5. So again, I go back to the bet fair and I find the exact same game. So I'm gonna now bet for Aston Villa not to win. So here we can see for Aston Villa not to win, so we've got a lay of 4.7 here. So then we go back to our calculator and we put 4.7. So the lay amount that I have to put in is 15 pounds 05. So I have to bet um, 15 pounds 05 here. Always check your liability. So the liability is 55 pounds 69. On my calculator, it says exactly the same thing. So I know everything's fine. So. Let's look at what happens. So if Aston Villa win the game, that means I'll get my money from Coral because I betted for them to win on there. So from Coral will give me 70 pounds because I've won, but on the exchange, I've lost 55 pounds 69 because I've lost the bet, which is equal to the liability amount. But on total, you'll see that I gained 14 pounds 31 pence. Equally, if Aston Villa don't win, so this means if Aston Villa draw or they lose, I don't lose any money from the bookmaker because remember, this is free money. This is not my own money. It's not coming out of my own pocket. This is free money that Coral have gifted me for signing up as a new user. But on the exchange, I gain an extra £14.30 and that is because my bet for Aston Villa not to win came true. So Betfair gifted me with £14.30. So yeah, so that is one example using a bookmaker called Coral, but there are a whole host of other bookmakers. You've got Ladbrokes, you've got William Hill, you've got Skybet, etc, etc. Uh, usually the best deals are for new customers so they typically say for match betting the most money that you do make is when you sign up as a new customer but you do get some offers for when you are a regular customer but yeah usually the most money that you'll make is very at the very beginning and then as time goes on you'll make some money but it's not going to be as much as what you did at the very beginning cool so those are the three ways that you can make some extra little money in this new year let me know what your thoughts are in the description box down below if you've got any other suggestions as well i'd love to hear from them i'm always looking for these like sort of quick easy money schemes and yeah if you like this video and you found it really really useful i would really appreciate if you smash that like button as well that does wonders for the youtube algorithm and the growth of my channel and remember i release a video every single monday so be sure to hit the subscribe button as well see you later